So guys, Manny Pacquiao, a lot of you are saying Manny Pacquiao, Keith Thurman, they'll have to raise their games. Um, so a lot of you criticised Manny's performance. Some of you saying that Manny didn't look like he had the legs in his, you know, in his fight against Broner. Listen, there was definitely slippage when Manny Pacquiao fought Broner. But let's not forget, Manny Pacquiao's performance was a very dominant performance against Broner. Yes, it was only Broner, so we can't really make too much. We can't really make too much of it. Obviously, Thurman's a lot more stiffer test than Broner, so Pacquiao, so Pacquiao's gonna have to raise his game, of course. But if, if there's anyone that's got to raise their game, right, it's Thurman because Thurman looked terrible in his last fight, and we know Pacquiao's so much better than Lopez, right? And Thurman was almost stopped in that fight. So we know Thurman's going to have to raise his game a lot more. Whereas Pacquiao looked, although he didn't look that great against Broner in many people's eyes, he dominated the fight. He won probably 10 out of the 12 rounds, right? It was a very dominant Manny Pacquiao performance. Yes, it didn't look like the old Pacquiao, but it's not going to at the age of 40, you know? So... I feel that Thurman's going to have to raise his game a lot more. But I think he might do. He might raise his game to a certain level. Uh, you know, a certain level to, to as much as his body can allow him to do. Um, I think Pacquiao may have to raise his game as well. Pacquiao may have to raise, it, raise, his, raise his game. Because Thurman's going to obviously be up for this. He's going to be a lot more motivated for this fight than he was for the Lopez fight. But Thurman, for me, is going to have to raise his game massively compared to Pacquiao, you know. And, and I think that's what is going to be interesting because I think Broner, right, Bro Broner didn't really bring the best out of Pacquiao. you got to realise Pacquiao was a heavy favourite in that fight against Broner. Although Pacquiao trains hard for his, all of his fights, I think he'll train hard again for this Thurman fight. I think you may see a more more motivated Pacquiao because I think he knows that Thurman brings a lot more danger than what Broner did. So you're, you're definitely going to see a more sharper Pacquiao. He knows that Thurman can hurt him. Thurman's a lot bigger, stronger, better, more boxing skills than Adrian Broner. So you're going to see a much sharper, more motivated Pacquiao. Uh, I do feel that I do feel that if there's anyone that's going to improve, it's Thurman because Thurman's younger. He's, he's obviously fresher, although I do think he's suffered that injury and I think that's going to hamper him and I think that's what's going to probably be his downfall he's been inactive as well he's not been very active um that's gonna that's gonna hurt him but you gotta understand he's younger so he's probably got more chances of improving Pacquiao's not going to improve that much because he's been very active it's not like Pacquiao's only getting older he's not getting younger so his performance is he's probably is what he is yes you could probably say he'll be more motivated than the Broner fight because this is a bigger fight than the Broner fight but you can't see him physically improving because, you know, Pacquiao's hit a ceiling now, which it's going to be very hard for him to get better, you know, because, you know, he's 40 years of age. It's probably you're going to see more dip than improvement. Whereas Thurman, of course, I'm going on the fact that I think Thurman's over the hill. But if Thurman can come and prove me wrong, Thurman can improve, of course, because Thurman's still got years in him if he's still the same fighter that we think he was before he, he, he suffered that injury. Um... So Thurman's obviously a fighter that can improve a lot more. Pacquiao's probably on the decline and he's not going to get any better at the age of 40. You know, fighters don't usually get better. They've peaked and they've, they've done what they've had to do in the sport. Now Pacquiao's just adding to his already spectacular legacy if he's able to pull off this win. Um, but you can't say he's getting better. He's not going to be able to get better at this age. It's just not going to happen. You know, he just needs to train in a way where he's not overtraining and train so the best Manny Pacquiao possible at this point can turn up in that ring. That's what Pacquiao needs to do. Pacquiao um, is not going to get much better because he's not at his peak. He's well past his peak. These are he, Pacquiao is now towards the twilight of his career, so you can't see him improving massively. Thurman is the one that, if anyone's going to improve massively from his last performance especially, it's Thurman because he didn't look that great. Um, his legs didn't look that great. His punching power wasn't as devastating. So only Thurman needs to up his performance. Whether he can, whether his body allows him to, only time will tell. Because, like I said, Thurman's the one that's going to have to up his game. Because, like I said, if Thurman shows up like he did against Lopez, in my opinion, there's only one winner. And that's going to be Pacquiao. And Pacquiao will win in emphatic fashion. But maybe Thurman, like I said, will show up. And Thurman will 
bring a better Keith one time Thurman. Well, who knows? Well, this is why this fight is going to be very intriguing because there's so many questions that need to be answered. And I, and I believe um, July 20th will have all those answers. And leave your thoughts, guys, uh, in the comment section below. Um, and guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.